stop deceiving yourself, but our personal intent, they are disastrous. They're not harmonic. They don't even work for you. The Bible says your spirit and soul are, and your mind and flesh are fighting. So they don't even work in you, your so-called intent. Most people you meet, they're at war in themselves. How many know people you don't want to be around? Are they bad people? They're not bad, they're conflicted. There is great war in them. They're every day, there's no peace in them. How can they have peace with you or anything else? Because why? There's only one person, there's only one, you understand? Conductor can synchronize the being, can create the symphony. When you accept Jesus, he may be put the Holy Spirit in you. The first person you have to attune is who? You. You go, spirit, soul, and body, come in alignment. Peace, my peace, I give it to you, not like the Lord. He make all the vibration to come up together. Amen. All of a sudden, you don't want to fight for yourself anymore and everybody else. This is the first gift or effect of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is harmony what? In you. The warfare in you stop. Then he will focus you then to do the will of God. The first grace, you understand, is internal peace. Spirit, soul, body, and flesh stop what? War. Not the spirit going, we are spirit, I want to do the will of God. And the soul going, I don't know what to do. And the mind is going, we are worrying, we see TV, we have friends, we have a light. I am black, I'm Hispanic, I'm Chinese. The mind is going on. And the spirit going, no, we are a spirit, we have to do the truth. And the flesh going, I am hungry, I want to be touched, I want to be sleep. This is most people's life. There's a war. Every platoon against itself, for itself. It's just, you know, I tell you, if you can listen to some people inside, the flesh is declaring war, mutiny, against the mind and the spirit. You go, I want to be free. I want sleep. I want rest. I want stimulation. The mind's going, I have plans, places to go, things to go, someone to be, competing with my fellow minds, egos to conquer, war to start. The spirit is good. No, we are a spirit. We have to serve the living God. And the poor soul is going like, well, you're killing me. I don't know what to do. You see, the soul is shaped based on which one of them is the dominant force. If that is going to be uh, shaped full of feelings, food eating, sleep, and assimilation, full of craziness of the mind, the egoic postures, or full. <laughs> 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 or full of spirit. The poor soul going, what am I to do? Paul said it best. Who will save me from this body that I'm trapped in? You guy am shackling the body hell. Paul got me in torture from outside and inside. Paul go, who will save me? He go, I am a wretched existence of life. I am trapped between three entities that are killing me. The soul is a personality. It was dropped. Romans 6, Paul got, somebody help me, Romans 7. He got, my flesh has declared war, my mind has declared war, and my spirit has declared war too. And I am experiencing it all. See, the soul is sensitive. One want to be feel, sleep, and stimulated. One want to be something. And the other one just want to do the will of God. <laughs> who shall win? Paul said, who will help me? This is why the Bible said, once Jesus comes in, he can, he can, your flesh is what? There. He said, once I come in, I'll shut down the flesh. The death for living, for sleeping, stimulating, and eating comes to what? An end. No glory. And he got your mind, it's direct against me. He said, the mind has to be a base. It don't want to do my intent. It wants to do what? It's own. Amen. So he said, I will renew the entirety. The function of that mind is not to do its own will. Amen? And he goes, I will quicken your spirit. Meaning what? I will strengthen the dominancy of your what? Your spirit. What is quickening? He shuts down the flesh noise. Renew the mind. 
and authorize the spirit, quickens it. So they can do what? You see, there can't be harmony if every three strong people live in the same house. If three strong people, the Bible call, refer to our body as the temple or the house. If three strong people living in the house and everybody wants to do their own thing. You ever see some people that you're trying to, you, you, you don't know if they're mad or they're sane? No, they're, they're, they're just having a lot of issues going on. One minute they're going, you know, the flesh is winning. Then next day you see them and the ego. And another day they're kind of religious and you're like, I can't follow you. There's enough of you in there that I can't really tell what's going on. They just have a lot of generals going on. So Jesus, he said, you keep eating over you. And the Bible says, in the presence of the Lord, the flesh shall be still. He, I'll stay above you, or in you, so the flesh can't move. Then we're going to re-educate the mind, because we need it. I wanted to get rid of it. He goes, no, 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 we have to retrain it. We're going to teach it the laws of humility. He goes, and I will quicken your spirit, which have my essence in it. And the soul shall be molded into my image because of the dominancy of the shadow tower. First part, harmony. The human species have entered a state of a symphony. Oh, it's beautiful. I love that state. We call it peace. At least now I just have to focus on my task. You can't focus. <laughs> or can't. Most people want to do what of God. Why can't they do it? Paul said, I watch my own being sabotage me. When I should work, the flesh won't eat. When I should do the will of the God, the mind is stealing. Can be somebody. You will never, if you stay in that state, you'll never come to the place of glory. You'll never be able to glorify God. In fact, you'll be in a perpetual state of torment. It ain't fun being there. Most of the world lived there. He said, if you keep my commandment. What's it? If. You understand? It's a prerequisite. There are conditions that have to be met. Remember John 14, 31. I do the command of the Father. And only its voice. Satan is coming. So your job is always to keep the command. And if you do the will of God, you do, you come in agreement with God. If, amen. If you keep my commandment, notice continue. If you continue, now just do it. Because some people, I have, I, I've been a manager for a long time. And I have some staff that make me laugh. I have, I have maybe my own, my own mistake. I told them I give out the race two times, January and June. Guess when they work best? <laughs> May, December. They take the rest of the time off. Some of them. Some of them always work. And these are the ones that we take care of first. But some of them, it's amazing they remember the time. But they don't remember they have to do it all the time. They seem to do it. And they love to remind me. You know June coming. I'm like, and what have you been doing for the last two months? <laughs> oh, you don't need to remember that. I do remember that. <laughs> Man, is special. If you keep my commandment, and if you continue to obey my instruction. Jesus said, I only take the, my father's instruction. So you have to keep what he commands you to do, and continue to listen to him. If. Prerequisite. Condition. Are you listening? You ever buy something from a store? And they go, follow this, this, this. Once you follow this, warranty not void. But if! It's so anytime you break the if, you void the warranty. Every time you, you, you break the if, you don't get a windfall, you get a pitfall. Are you listening to me? You gotta do the will. Look at somebody and say, we must do the will. It's instruction. We want to stay now in the realms of blessing. Surround the blessing. The Bible said, You will abide in my love. This is what his relationship is about. And live on in it. So there's a realms that you can live in continuous love. 
There's a realms that you can live in continue. This is surrounded blessing. I'm now defining surrounded blessing in some of its best attributes and form that I have found. There is a realms that allow you to be in the realms of harmony. Because you're committed to do the will of God. Because you're continuing to do the will of God. Then you can continue to live on in Israel. Love. Hallelujah. It's a love thing. Love power. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So there's a realm that allows you to continue to live on in God's love. But if, if, you see, some, I meet people, so they go, I used to experience so much love and God. A pitfall take me than a windfall. Because in the windfall, you're getting deeper in the love. And I go, did you continue to do what you tell me to do? They go, well, I got in, but then I had some plans. I got the mind take over. You went back, out, you went into disharmony. You stopped being focused on doing his command and only his command. And we have come in agreement that only he knows best. You decide to come up with another idea. And when that happens, you will come out of the surrounded love and the surrounded peace. Yes. It's all blessing. You see, I'm telling you, we need to live right. We need to, un living right is simple. Just do the will of God. That's it. Mm -hmm. Do we make it all kind of religious nonsense? Let's go to church three times. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else we call it. It's just doing the will of God. That's it. Can we live right? We have to do the will of God. Mm -hmm.